Hi guys, so I'm currently packing for my trip back to Asia. I'm going back for about a month and I'm leaving on Monday. Today is currently Friday. So before I pack everything up, I thought I would share with you guys some of my favorite things and pieces I'm going to be bringing back with me to Vietnam and they're all bought between last month and this month. So it's very summary related basically. So in this haul, I'm going to just be sharing um, a bunch of clothes that I've bought and some shoes and a bag that I bought um, recently. I've got things from Fendi, Miu Miu, um, Sandro, Self Portrait, Dolce Gabbana, Chanel, Dior, and Giacomus. Oh, I'm not pronouncing that right. I don't think so. It's actually super stunning in London at the moment, so I'm loving it. Um, but yeah, and I can actually be filming like later in the afternoon because the sun doesn't go down so early, so that's good. Anyway, or it's only like cracking because I don't want to make the intro so long. So I'm just going to start off with uh, the one swimwear that I am including in this haul, and it is this one. It is so cute. Um, it is by a brand called Lilliput, Lilliput and Felix. Lilliput and Felix. And I got this in a size one. I'm not a huge fan of one pieces just because I love tanning and this is definitely not something you would tan in. And what sold me with this swimsuit was actually this turban that was kind of um, displayed above it. And obviously it's a matching turban. It's so cute. Um, I love this gingham, colorful gingham kind of pattern. Um, yeah, this is definitely just for like fun, for like some cute pictures and like for fashion and stuff. I don't think I would like stay by the pool or at the beach wearing this. I would melt. <laughs> but um, this is just really, really cute. And I love, oh, you can adjust the gold buckle up and down um, as you please. And the back is really nice as well because it's just got a really low crisscross at the back here. And you can tie a bow around it. <laughs> There you go. Next, yesterday I went to Selfridges to help my mom buy some jeans. She wanted some jeans, so I went to the denim studio and walked past um, Good American, which I actually own some of their jeans, and I love their jeans. I think it's really, really, um, really flattering. But I saw this, and I absolutely loved it. It's basically just a body, a velvet body, but what I love about it, it's kind of like molded, if I can explain. It's got like a um, a padding kind of feel, a very thin padding, but it molds into like this really pretty shape. If you can see this like kind of sweetheart neckline shape. And I love how, I love the thick straps. And yeah, it's just a body. And basically I bought this because I have a clear, like a transparent pad from Fiorucci, which I bought not too long ago. And I have yet to wear it because obviously I have to be a bit brave. It's completely see-through clear plastic, like PVC pants. But I thought this would look cool under, um, underneath it. But then, as I was checking out, I saw this pair of sweatpants, also by um, Good American. And they're just black sweatpants, literally bog standard um, sweatpants. But they feel so comfortable, and I tried it on when I got home, and this is definitely what I'm wearing on um, my flight back to Vietnam. Do you see how, like, there's a cutout here? Like, it's so hard to see because it's black, a pair of black sweatpants. I hope you can see that. But I think that's a really cool detail, and I just find it really flattering, and um, I've, I tried it on with the body. Obviously, I don't think I would wear the body on the plane. I feel like that, this is just going to get uncomfortable at some point. I'm just going to wear um, a baggy t-shirt. But yeah, just like a really tight shirt tugged into this. Um, it's, I know it's very Kim K style kind of outfit, but honestly, it's just so comfortable. Of course, it has pockets on both sides. Um, there are zip pockets. And yeah, not much else to them besides their really comfortable sweatpants, basically. <laughs> so the next item is from Miu Miu, and basically I walked past them at Selfridges yesterday, and I saw these really cool t-shirts, and I really liked the print on them. Um, basically, the lady explained to me uh, the reason behind the prints. She was saying how it was... Um, she was saying how she was saying how each t-shirt there was like I can't remember how many t-shirts there were there were quite a few each t-shirt has a scene from a film or a short film that Mimi has made expressing women emotions and whatnot I think they're on YouTube and I definitely have to go uh, Google it up and have a look because um, it sounded very interesting but um, this is the packaging of the t-shirt which I thought was really really cool it just says Mimi Mew Mew women's tales and mine is number 13 I chose number 13 and at the back is the cast and crew and the name of the short film. So this one's Carmen. Um, and the t-shirt is basically inside. So let's see. Yeah, so this is 
and this is the t-shirt. It's a very simple t-shirt with this um, print of a girl singing. I just love the colors. I think the colors are so bold and bright and like, yeah, very cool. So I got this one and at the back it does have the print of cast and crew with Carmen at the top. I think this is just really cool. I mean, to be honest, I love collecting really cool t-shirts with cool prints. Um, they're just so easy and they tuck into everything and when you're in Asia it's just so goddamn hot and you just want to throw on something really simple and tuck it into something and call it a day but so this is perfect <laughs> for that but yeah so the next item is also a t-shirt and this one is by Fendi and look at this packaging guys it is crazy but I love it it gets me so excited for summer anyway the box is really ha makes me really happy um, so you open it up, inside you get a little envelope, and actually they have some stickers, that's kind of fun, um, although I kind of wish there were like stickers you can stick onto your suitcase so they're like flatter, this is like thicker stickers, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but anyway, very cute though, maybe for a diary or something, and then here is the t-shirt. So this is the t-shirt that I chose. They had loads of different like prints and colors and style, all kind of like similar to this kind of palm, like beachy kind of vibe. So this one just says Fendi Roma um, at the front with a cool print of palm tree and lots of sequins. And at the back, um, it says Spring Summer 2018 Fendi Pop Tour. So I guess these are just places that they toured. And yeah, again, another really simple t-shirt that I thought I could just tuck into shorts and just call it a day. By the way, I didn't mention that everything I'm sharing in this haul, I will be wearing in Asia, and I will definitely film an outfit of the day and stuff like that, but I usually incorporate them into my vlogs and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I really do want to do like styling-focused videos and stuff like that, but um, one, I don't want to do it in my flat because... I just, I, there's so, I have so much clutter in my flat. At the moment, I'm not putting any effort into making my flat like feel like my home just because I know that I'm going to be moving out of here soon. So it's just, it's just a bunch, so it's just really messy and I don't want to share more of the outside bit. Hopefully once I move into my new place and there's like a better setting and there's less clutter, then styling videos will be much easier. Anyway, let's continue. Next thing is this top and this is by Sandro. Um, I don't often shop at Sandro actually, but the other day I was with my best friend Bear and he was picking a suit up and I walked in and saw this top and I thought it was really really sweet. I love this like peplum detail at the bottom. It's just a really dinky little like top basically. There's a lace up detailing at the front and yeah, really thin straps, nothing at the back and it's just very sweet and I love that this can be very casually worn but it can also be dressed up at night time with just like some jewelry and stuff like that. The second thing from Sandro is this dress. Um, this isn't like 100% my style, but I just saw how like floaty it is. Basically, having lived in London for five years now, I'm just really not used to Asia's heat and humidity anymore. So every time I think about how hot and humid I'm gonna be in Vietnam, I just wanna wear something really loose fitted and like flowy, and this looks very loose fitted and flowy. And it's quite see-through, which I don't really mind, just wear like a really cute bralette underneath. But this dress is one of those dresses where you'll feel the breeze going everywhere kind of thing, if you know what I mean, and I just, that just sounded really good to me. The only thing about it is it is long-sleeved, um, which is not great for Asia, but it's alright because it's so thin and flowy, I think, I think I can survive. Maybe, like, wear it more in the afternoon, evening time, I'm not sure. So yeah, like, um, so like I said, yeah, it's very seafood at the top, and there's pleats at the bottom, and then, um, it says keep on dancing all over it, which I really like, and there's, it's polka dotted, white polka dots. And yeah, I like to dance, so a very simple dress to throw over with some cute sandals. Next, I made an order off of Revolve because I saw this dress and I thought it was the cutest dress ever. And this would be so sweet for a night out or something. Um, I don't know when I'm going to wear this yet because it's not an everyday dress. But I definitely will find an occasion to wear this. And it's just so sweet. So basically when you put this on, the mesh will be um, where your skin will show through. And it will look like you have like this necklace on or something. Um, which is really, like a choker on, which I really, really like, and there's a bow tie on it. I love that the cherries are all sequined. That, that's a really sweet detail. They're not just prints. They're all sequined. Really, really cute, and there's just a bunch of ruffles all over the front, and I love the buttons going all the way down. And even on the arms here, there's a bow tie, and I think you can, like, cinch it in. I just think this is such a sweet dress. How cute is this with a red lip and, like, some Mary Jane heels or something? It would just feel, like, really, like, um, pin-up girl or something. I don't know. I think it's so cute. So, um, 
I can't wait to find an occasion to wear this. And so the next dress is from Self Portrait, um, and I ordered this off of Matches, I believe. So this is actually a one shoulder dress, this is just um, to hang on to the hanger, but it's only got one sleeve here. So it's got ruffles on the shoulder bit, and your arms actually go through here as well, so um, it's going to be hard to show, but your shoulder kind of peeks through, and then your arms go through here kind of thing, if you can imagine it. And it's got a cute belt that cinches in the waist here, and it is a long dress. It's a maxi dress, and it's got a mesh zigzag detail. I think it hits just under the knee, um, which I thought was a really cool detail. Um, and there are little bow ties around with strings. I don't know if you can see. There's a couple going around. Some of the bow ties have come off, but yeah, you just retie them. And yeah, it's pleated at the bottom as well. I don't actually wear a lot of Mexi dresses in London, but um, yeah, I wear them a lot in Asia, so I'm looking forward to wearing them again. So I bought a couple of things from Dolce Gabbana, but this is the only thing that I'm bringing back with me to Asia, and it's like the only summer appropriate thing I bought, and it is this really fun skirt. Um, I just love the print of this, it's just so random. So this one has a checkered print on it with biscuits, oh, you can see the biscuits, um, a teacup, a spoon, lemons, butterfly, a starfish over here, you can see it? and a coral over here. Yeah, I just love the randomness of the skirt. It's just like a little picnic skirt, right? So maybe I'll wear this for a picnic. That'd be cute, um, with like a white body and any tucked in. Okay, down to my last clothing item, and it is by Giacomus. Giacomus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. So I was in the mood for like late night scrolling and like, you know, looking through like different online websites and stuff. And I saw this dress and I thought it was so pretty. It's very, very wrinkled. I just got it in the mail yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to iron it. I'm not going to because I'm going to just fold it back up again and shove it in my suitcase. So um, I'm just going to steam it when I get back to Asia. But I just love how it's just a really simple white um, top, white shirt, sorry. Um, there's no buttons on it, but it just kind of very nicely lays on your chest there. And then this is so pretty. So it's not doing... So honestly, right now it's not doing any justice. I feel like this is something you have to definitely see on. I will definitely do an outfit of the day with this and I'll definitely post on my Instagram. It's not laying very nicely because um, of the wrinkles and stuff, but this kind of wraps right around your waist and your butt area. So it's very flattering in that area and the fringe just kind of hang down. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite short. So I may even have to find like a really short nude, um, like pant or skirt to wear underneath because it is really short. Like this part here where it ends is literally where my butt ends so like if I bend I will be revealing the world everything underneath so I definitely think I'm going to be wearing um, something nude underneath but just it's so pretty the fringe is stunning and my favorite part is this bit. It hangs down super low. So I tried this on as soon as I got it um, yesterday and I just love how it just effortlessly just kind of like sits on your body up here and I love when you walk around especially in heels this just like moves so nicely the tassels move so nicely with it and I don't know I just thought it was so pretty and I got loads of compliments from people um, on my Instagram snap so yeah very nice and definitely very weather appropriate in Asia because this is gonna be so nice and airy <laughs> Also from the same order and the same brand, I got this pair of heels which I thought were super cool. So they are kind of like, they basically are a mule I guess. I absolutely love how squared off the uh, toe bit here is, it's really really cool. So the cool thing about these shoes are the heels. They're both different, this one has spheres on it and this one has some like a triangle and a little mini sphere. Look how cool that is, I love that, this is so cool. Um, yeah, this will just dress up any simple outfit, like even if you just wear a white shirt and some jeans and just put these on, instant cool outfit. I just, I'm excited to wear these. Alright guys, down to the last two things. The first being this pair of slides. I got these in Selfridges yesterday as well. Um, I was just looking for a pair of nice summer shoes, um, very simple. I love wearing white sandals in the summertime and I actually don't have any Chanel slides. This is my first pair. It's, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of their slides seem so chunky and heavy and I'm just worrying about the comfort um, of wearing them. But yesterday I gave them a try, I walked around the store in them and decided I would give them a try. I think they are comfortable enough. And I thought this was really pretty. It's just really simple white um, slide with um, the CC with a bunch of little bejewelments on it and pearls and stuff that will probably come off at some point but hopefully not if I take care of them. But yeah, very, very pretty. And to be honest, this would go with a lot of things that um, I bought in my haul. Yeah, like the dancing dress and like maybe even 
a casual day with that Jacquemus dress. So the last thing I'm going to share in this haul is this bag, and it is a Dior bag. I don't know the name of the style, but like I said, I'll link it below. I know some of you might think this is like kind of over and done with because it's been around for a while, but I still love it and I don't own the style bag. Anyway, I didn't jump on the bag wagon when this was super popular, but um, last month when I walked in and saw this color, I just loved the color. I was also looking for a gold bag anyway, so I decided to get it and so I finally have this in my collection. I think it's so stinking cute. I do prefer the small one to the bigger one, obviously. Um, you guys know I like little bags and I just think they're so cute and yeah, again, a really simple bag that will go with a lot of outfits. And because of the tone of this gold and the matteness of it, I feel like it works during the daytime as well. So, I mean, obviously this will work in the evening, but I think this would work during the daytime with, like, my summer outfits. I think this would go with pretty much, like, pretty much... Honestly, looking at all my outfits at the floor right now, this probably would go with every single one of them. So, yeah, I don't know. Should, do you guys want to see more of it? I'm sure there's so many videos about this bag, but... It does come with a strap, but of course I'm going to be using HRH's uh, chains because she makes the best chains for bags. Um, and that's inside. Yeah, there's not much else to share. I do like wearing the bag more like this. Um, I think it's like cooler that way. I've already used this bag a couple times, both during the day and night time, and I'm looking forward to bringing it back to Asia with me. Definitely will be using this a lot over there. Um, but yeah, very cute. Again, Damn it, I didn't, I didn't show you guys the straps. I love how I didn't even take it out of the packaging yet. There's still packaging on it. That's how much I will not be using the strap. Because <laughs> literally, guys, invest in HRH chains. Um, I wish I had them here with me to share, but maybe in a different video. But her chains are just literally the best um, for bags. Anyway, how cute. So that's the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my Asia slash holiday slash summer wardrobe so far. I'm really excited to style everything. And like I said, again, if you guys want to see them styled, um, they will most likely be included in vlogs and stuff like that. I always do segments of outfit of the days. I may... I I may try to do like maybe a full video of just outfit of the days, but it just depends if I have people that can help me film it, basically. <laughs> um... Please give this a video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys have any future video recommendations or um, anything you liked from the haul. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys want to come back and catch up with me again. Um, and that's basically it. See you later guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.